It's officially fall. And what does that mean? Well, sometimes it means seasonal allergies. Like I'm prone to have. Other times it also means starting the sewing season. So without further ado, I am gonna show you how I made the ultimate fall dress. So this dress was ultimately inspired by the beautiful fall colors you see all around here in Germany and kind of the scarecrow aesthetic type rustic looking um, decor you tend to see. Um, I was super excited to get into this project and I found the perfect material from my local thrift store. I'd go with puff sleeves and I would add like a circle skirt and then the bodice would be a sweetheart neckline. For the circle skirt I made it very similar to my last video that I posted and used the same waist measurements in this case it was 4.52 for the radius and then I used the same cheat technique using an old tablecloth. For the skirt, after I cut it out of the material, I proceeded to cut some pocket pieces. And then after that was done, I attached the pocket pieces to the sides of the skirt. And I continued by sewing the skirt side pieces together. Once that was done, I sewed the hem of the skirt, which took a dickens of a time. I've never sewn a circle skirt hem before, but let me tell you, be prepared for at least to take a couple hours. After this was finished, um, I went ahead and moved on to the bodice. For this project, I ended up using the McCall's pattern 4681, and I used specifically the bodice and the puff sleeves. For the bodice, I started out by cutting out the um, center back pieces, and then I sewed the darts on the center back. After that, I moved on to the front of the bodice and I went ahead and cut it out in a diagonal um, onto the remainder of the material I had from the skirt. So it would kind of give it a unique design um, in the final product. After that, I went ahead and sewed the darts on the front. And I then sewed the front pieces to the back pieces. Now what's important is what I didn't do in my last project is I did not line the final product. In this case, um, I did actually line it and I used this really soft stretch polyester material I bought at Walmart while I was back in the States.
and it ended up making the dress feel like I was wearing pajamas. It's one of the most comfortable dresses I've ever made. And so I ended up in whipping up the lining, same as I did the outer shell of the garment, sewed the two together, and voila, the bodice was done. Once that was done, I sewed the two pieces together. And after that was finished, I went ahead and moved on to the sleeves. Okay, so now we're onto the sleeves, and unfortunately with this part, I didn't end up having enough time to get footage of the sleeves, so I kind of speed sewed them off camera, but what I did use was, like I said, the McCall's pattern, so I'll show you what I did for my last project. Um, so I cut the pieces out, sewed elastic to the bottoms. Sewed elastic to the top. Attached the sides together and then attached them to the dress. And that's about it. All I did besides that was sew a waistband and I ended up adding some cute little wooden buttons to kind of give it a fall vibe. And then the project was done. So let's move on to the reveal.